Hello. Welcome back to the next section. In our previous section, we talked about who is the teacher in the Holy Ghost School. So here, we're going to talk about developing intimate relationship with the Lord. Now, developing this intimate relationship with the Lord has to do with building a communion place with the Lord. And that is where the school takes place. We need to look at it in, we, look, we need to look at it like this. Where does this school take place? Where does the Holy Ghost school take place? Now, Holy Ghost school does not take place in any other place aside from, first of all, in your heart. That's why before you can actually build that relationship with God, before you can actually be in this school, you need to first of all accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. Now, if you read the Bible, Jesus talked about him being the way, the truth, and the life. What does that mean? It means that he came to create a, a, a way so that the Spirit of God be coming and teach us the truth because he is that truth. But we cannot understand or know him. We've been talking about knowing the Father. We cannot understand or know the Father or the Son because if you know the Father, you've known the Son. If you know the Son, you've known the Father. We cannot understand or know them without the Spirit of God. So what Jesus came to do was he came to make himself as a sacrificial lamb that we create the way for the Spirit of God to come back to humanity. That's why the first step in building this intimate relationship with God is all about giving your life to Christ. Now, after you've given your life to Christ, after you've surrendered all, after you've accepted him as your Lord and personal Savior, I want you to know that it's your right to have the Spirit of God in you. Immediately you surrender your life to him as your Lord and personal Savior, the Spirit of God is already there. The Spirit of God is there, is now there to begin to direct and teach you. So what do you need to do next? What you need to do next is to create an, a, 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 it's to create a time for him. It's to create an opportunity for him whereby he will be teaching you, whereby he will be directing you. Remember, in the definition of Holy Ghost School, we say Holy Ghost School is one allowing himself to be led and directed by the Spirit of God. So the question is, how can I allow myself to be led and be directed by the Spirit of God? So we're going to look into the Bible. If you read the book of Daniel, Daniel, if you go to the book of Daniel 6 verse 10, Bible says in that book of Daniel 6 verse 10, let me, just give me some sign, let me open it so that we can read and see what the what this bible is what what is there because one thing i always tell people is this from genesis to revelation everybody that walked with god walk with god in the spirit you cannot actually serve god or know god without the spirit of god being there so now we're going to read from the book of daniel to see that even the olden people that succeeded did so through the spirit of god now let's let's read the book of daniel 6 verse 10. Bible say now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house and his window being opened in his chamber towards Jerusalem. He knelt upon his knee three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God as he did before. Now, like we said, building personal intimate relationship with God has to do with first of all accepting the Lord Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. After you've done that, you create a time, a time whereby you'll be going to be meeting Him, to be dining in His presence, to be interacting with Him. Because prayer simply means interacting with God, you know, com communicating with Him. You cannot actually build an intimate relationship with someone without communication. Communication is the key to any relationship. A relationship cannot last without communication. That's why establishing a communion time, a time whereby you dedicate to be going to the presence of God to communicate to Him matters a lot. That's why Daniel did it, and that's why the Bible. Look, uh, and if you read from that, from chapter four, uh, four, you'll find that even King, uh, King Nebuchadnezzar looked at Daniel and said, "There is a selling spirit upon this guy. Why the excellent spirit? Because he gave time." whereby he always communicates with the excellent spirit. So bringing out a time when we are, whereby you communicate with God becomes very, very important. And that time is what we call confident time. It could be at any time. You can dedicate, maybe you can say 9 o'clock p.m. every day of my life, I will be coming to the presence of God to communicate, to interact with him, to develop my relationship with him the more. Now, what does that mean? It doesn't mean that every 9 o'clock p.m. you will go to church. No, it means every 9 o'clock p.m. you will go to your room in your house because where we read say Daniel goes to his room facing Jerusalem interacting with his father in heaven talking with his God in heaven so the same thing you can do that is how to build that intimate relationship with God 
create out a time whereby you go to the presence of God to interact with him, to have love affair with him. That's what I call it because people, two, two persons cannot build a love affair without communication. I pray that the Lord will...